It's definitely a different boat, I'll tell you that much. Yo, 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 what's going on, 1020? I hope you're all super well. Am I feeling super well? <sighs> Look, I'm feeling slightly better than yesterday. I think I have a bit more energy today, which means I might go to the park later on. I'm still yet to decide on that, simply because tomorrow is the training game with Crawley Town under 23s, and I don't want to put my body in any danger, I guess, of not being able to play in that match. Like I said the other day, it's always important to put your body ahead of any sort of training that you're doing, and that doesn't mean just being lazy and saying, oh, I have a sore throat. I can't trade. I am genuinely ill. Like, I had today's vlog planned out. It was going to be the finesse, like the outside of the foot swaz technique. I was going to take you through a tutorial of that, but look, I don't know if I'll go to the park. If I do that, then that will be the video. If not, no idea. So look, let's see where the day takes us. I'm probably just going to sit here for the next hour or two working on the ebook for you guys. That's the training program. I'm making some changes to it, but we'll get to that sometime soon in the future. Also, we are aiming for 10,000 subscribers by the middle of April. Yep, that's right. The 15th of April, Team Tweety, we want to grow to 10,000 subscribers. So if you haven't hit the subscribe button, make sure you do down below. Just smash it. Oh, that's my dad calling. Let's see what he's got to say. Hello, vlog. Hey. How are you going today? They can't answer that. How are you, Sean? Yeah, look, I was just saying to them, I'm feeling a bit better than yesterday, but I don't, I don't know if I'll be doing anything today. Oh, and here I am, ready to go to the park with you. After you guilt tripped me yesterday, I thought I'd better do it today. What are you really? Yeah, it's not raining today. Look, maybe in a couple of hours we'll see, but now that you've presented me with that offer, uh, that's a pretty good offer. Like I said the other day, I it's difficult just going by yourself because you've got to kick the ball, run, kick the ball, run, kick the ball, run. Whereas if you have someone there that's kicking back for you, especially someone like Dad, perfect accuracy, perfectly weighted passes. We get the training session done pretty quick, don't yeah, we? Yeah, got to take advantage of the uh, expert when he's here, really. <laughs> exactly. Papa Tweety. <laughs> Alright, complete change of plans. I'm going to the park with Dad. I thought, you know what, first off, some fresh air might actually be good for me. Secondly, the session that I'll do with Dad won't be too intense at all, so it should be fine. Now, we both decided that we're going to go to the last pitch that I went to with Jay. Very close to that is a grass pitch, and it's been absolutely pouring the last couple of days. So I thought, you know what, why don't I show you guys the anti clog Nike boots that I bought, what, like months ago now. I've had them sitting in my room for a long time. I've never used them, and I want to give you guys a bit of a review, a comparison between just molded studs, the normal boots that you wear, and then the Nike anti-clog boots. Because there seems to be so much hype around these anti-clogs, you don't get mud on the boots, etc, etc. And I'm here like, well, I have no idea what any of that means. Well, yeah, I know what it means. The mud doesn't stick to the bottom of your boot. But what's the big fuss about? So we're going to go do that, do a bit of a comparison, and then I'll give you guys my review on both of the boots. I'm actually really keen to wear them. When you get a new pair of boots, you usually just whack them on straight away. I haven't had the chance to do that. It's almost like I've bought another pair of new boots, and I'm wearing them for the first time now. Let's go see Dad, and off to the park we go. So, Mate, what do you reckon of the conditions? Suitably muddy. It's definitely muddy enough for the anti clog boot. Yep, I'm 100%. It's got that definite English soil. 100. Perfect amount of clay to make sticky mud for your boots. Yep, now. Bang! Oh, look at that. Unused. You know what? <laughs> they're not going to look like that when we get out of here. No, but they're beautiful right now. They are. And then, I've also got, I haven't been wearing my other, you know the white Neymar Jordans? No. Well, you guys know them. I haven't been wearing those simply because I've been breaking them just on the edge in here. And if I keep wearing, uh, you can't see it on these ones because they're not broken. So I've been wearing these, which are fine. I like these. Which one do you guys like more? Let me know down in the comments. What do you like, Dad? The grey, of course. They're really? flashy and new. Ah, uh, yeah. If I clean these, they might Right. I want to right. see how the studs go, the middle studs. Yeah, first off, we're going to be using these ones. No. Just so that I can get a feel and then really notice the difference when I switch into the newer pair, which are actually meant for these conditions. So this is going to be some fun. I'm used to using these boots on these sort of conditions. Though. I've never had metal studs in my life. Why is that done? You just don't need them in Australia. It's not sticky enough. True. And uh, But some people in the team did have them, and I kind of just went, well, why do you need them? Yeah. Now you know. Yeah, because they might have used them like once or twice in a season. Here, it seems like you need them 
every week. So we're gonna get to it. Here's some training footage. And here we see a wild puffer tweety. You do not want to disturb this creature when he's meditating. Trust me, it doesn't go down well. So Dad's told me that in here it's really wet and damp and muddy. Now I'm just going to be doing dribbling, just completely freestyle. Well, however I want to do it, I don't have any cones, nor do I want any cones, because I just want to change direction really quick, see what it would be like, make it game realistic, because in a game, you might go this way and then you've got to turn immediately. So I want to see how the boots hold up with that. That is definitely enough exercise for me today. Those dribbling drills just, oh, that absolutely killed me. Did you see? Yep, that's it. Oh, I'm dying. Did you notice a difference in the dribbling between these ones and the other ones? Well, it's interesting because I didn't really notice much difference with the passing and yeah. so on, but you looked more stable when you're dribbling. Yeah, I felt that 100%. I think when I was dribbling, I'd slide out in these, especially when I went to put my toes, I'd went, I'd go to push off yeah. my toes like that. And with these ones, I'd slide even just like this much. Whereas these, they stuck in the ground. Yeah, I go, that's exactly, and then move away. Yeah, you just look. I mean, I'm a fair way away, but even from here, you look sharper. 
interesting yeah now well i it was pretty funny early on dad says to me do you notice any different i said i don't know i feel like i'm in the ground more and i think that might have been a mental thing where you put the metal studs on and it's like oh well You're different stuck in the mud. <laughs> yeah do you know the point of metal studs do you understand why they stick in the ground more because i didn't when i first got them until one of you guys commented. Well, they're longer, aren't they? It's only slightly, about a millimetre. Right. Think about the logic. They don't flex. No. Don't because the metal cuts into the dirt better than the plastic. Oh. So your studs actually go all the way into the ground, whereas the plastic ones don't go in as far. That's what I've been told. Do you agree? No, it sounds no. like rubbish to me. But <laughs> well, who knows? Whatever. They're, they invented them for a reason. Yeah, now in let's... the old days, of course, the every boot was metal studs. So when I played, really, well, when I played football as a kid, they were all metal studs. Well, they didn't have molded plastic back then. Oh, now let's get a comparison of the anti clog. As you can see, that's the bottom of each boot, and they look pretty similar to me. Do you notice much difference? No, not really, but they're probably anti clog compared to other metal boots rather than plastic. <laughs> True, yeah, because I imagine when you go down in metal studs, because I've never had them, I don't know. But you go down into the ground and then you just get a whole heap of mud. Anyway, they look good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So now the question that I'm sure is on all of your minds, would you spend the 270 Australian dollars or, I don't know, 170 pounds to get the metal studs or anti-clogged boots? For me, just from that, I can't really tell. I'd have to take it into a game, really determine whether it helps me more. But like you said, it did make me sharper, not in the sense that the boots magically made me go faster when I was dribbling. It just let me stay at my normal pace. What would you say about it? Well, I look at the big picture here. Yep. And I remember when you were a kid and you were playing cricket. Right. And you got to fork out for cricket shoes, cricket bat, oh, cricket yeah. pads, balls, <laughs> stumps Everything. to practice with. You know, most sports, there's a lot of equipment and it's expensive. Mm -hmm. but when you play football all you need is a ball and a pair of boots yep and so if you're gonna if you're serious about football you gotta have the best boots you can yeah get. that was one of the things i remember one year you had a really cheap poor pi yep. pair Plastic. of boots and you didn't play very well really right learn a lesson there yeah so it kind of depends on the whole picture you got to think about your financial situation uh, there's just so many things that go into it. I think they're a good boot. If you want my recommendation on whether they're good or not, I think they're definitely good and definitely a decent pair of boots. I'll be wearing them. If I play at East Grinstead or Dorchester, they like never play on artificial fields. So that will probably be the next time you see me in them in an actual match, which I'm looking forward to because that's the real test. If it ever stops raining. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is true. Anyway, I'm heading home now. I'll catch you guys soon. I think you got the better deal this time, mate. Dad got the lamb shank. I got a burger, but a lot of greasy stuff on the side. Look, it's not the best meal for me. Cook it with Tweety is obviously much better. We'll get back to it soon. Don't worry. All right, now that I'm back home, I literally just sent a message off to the Manly United first grade coach back in Australia. Now, if you guys don't know how the leagues work in Australia, you have the A-League, which is the only professional league in Australia. And then below that, you have some Premier League teams in each state. And I'd say New South Wales is the strongest. And Manly, my home team, my home club, we won the title last year. Now I know that this year they have a very, very strong squad and I basically asked the coach whether I'd be able to train with them and if there's any possibility of playing. The problem is, is that I'm only going to be there for eight weeks and I'm not sure whether he's going to want me to be part of that team for only eight weeks. So it'll be interesting to hear what he says. I'm sure I won't get a reply today. Hopefully we hear something tomorrow. The fact is I need to go to Australia and train at a decent level at least. So we'll see what happens. Seeing as I'm still sick, I'm going to head to bed a little bit earlier tonight just to get that rest in. I hope I helped some of you guys with the anti clog versus molded stud boots. If you did reach this part of the video, please, please, please go down below, hit that like button. It takes like three seconds, not even. All you have to do is just press the button. If we can get this video to 500 likes, that would be absolutely insane. And then I know that you guys have reached the end of the video. Everyone that's liked it, I know you've made it this far. But anyway, Team Sweet, I'm signing out. Make sure you leave a like on this video. Subscribe. If you're new, I did join the journey, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye. Let's